Hey everybody, Garrett Claridge here. Today we're gonna be taking apart and overloading these old Fisher STC 616. Now these tower speakers have a 10 inch woofer, mid range and tweeter. Molly seems to like them, that's for sure. So here's just a quick look at the specs and instructions that were stapled to the back. We have the power rating, 60 watts, RMS max. That's a very confusing thing to say. Now eight ohms, the woofer's measured in millimeters, 254 millimeters. The mid-range is actually uh, written down as the tweeter here, 102 millimeters. And then instead of the tweeter, they wrote down passive radiator, and uh, that is the 76 millimeter driver. Now, there is no passive radiator on this uh, at all, as far as I found yet. I think that's just a typo with the uh, manual, possibly. All right, so I'm gonna run my first sound test on these now. I've never hooked them up before. Right now you're listening to my room stereo, so I'm going to turn that down, and uh, the fader for these, and they go up. So I've given them a listen with a couple songs, and let me tell you, they do get the job done. If someone was on a budget and just had to make these work, they can do it. Like, I'd really recommend a uh, equalizer unit on here. I don't think the bass and mid-range and treble adjustments on a amplifier would be enough to tune these things up. There is a uh, very strong presence in the mid-range, like 2,000 to 4,000 hertz. I'd recommend turning that down, just notching them down and doing a bit of a selective equalizing and then these would probably actually work just fine. There is also a very uh, boomy, possibly the resonance of the cabinet, that's also a very big presence in the uh, frequency response that I'd probably turn down if I had to use these, but as for budget speakers, really, if you added some uh, some sort of padding inside, they're not bad as, a, as it is, but imagine if you did a bit of foam in there, braced them up a bit, Possibly even put an L-pad or some kind of resistor on those mid-ranges to cool them down a little bit. Those would be totally acceptable to use. And cheap, cheap. You can find these everywhere. Oh! That was very short-lived. <laughs> I bought a baseball bat. <laughs> Here's what we got on the inside. Straight from the terminals. Looks like, uh, yeah, terminals to the woofer. So the woofer is full range. It's a common stamped woofer. Four screws. Meh. It's actually labeled Sanyo. Oh, I just stepped on the remote. <laughs> Right, the mid-range and tweeter both have the same magnet on there. They're labeled Sanyo Korea. Yeah, that ugly aqua seafoam marine freaking blue teal. Ugh. So I've gone ahead and bass boosted everything and turned up all the gains. I'm going to try to overload this just uh, as it is.
those tweeters survived. Oh, that's rock solid. Oh, there's some smoke. Yeah. Wow. That caused some pretty serious coil damage. <laughs> So the two tweeters, whoop, are still fine. <laughs> wow, this wood's crumbly. So we're gonna bypass those crossovers. All right, so here's the drivers we have left. Get a closer look at them. I say. They are all labeled Sanyo. Mid-ranges and tweeters have the same uh, magnets on them. So we're going to plug in, let's see, maybe we'll do mid-range first. Oh, these stupid foil caps. Actually, that might not work. I put a screwdriver hole right where the terminal wire is. I'll see. All right, so here we have one of the mid-ranges. I can't keep these alligator clips on these damn things. <laughs> Big volcano of smoke there. Whoa! Oh yeah. I do that every time, don't I? <laughs> They're never any fun with the dust cap on me. There's all that <laughs> You know what that uh, kind of smells like garage oil, like mechanic and weird, very weird. Ton of smoke. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's check out this one. Hmm. What's that? Clean. locked up. But look at this. Okay, I'm gonna have to give this a little power. Oh. Shit's on fire. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's mangled. <laughs> Man, this stinks. That is ridiculously hot, this coil. Kind of don't want to touch it. It's... Fuck, that thing is so hot. <laughs> wow. Okay, Jesus, never seen the, get that off the carpet. I can smell it burning all the cat hair and shit on the floor. Wow. Surprised I didn't need more smoke. Well, that's about it for these old fishers. You be sure to have yourself a nice fucking day.